buddy. Dreaming about losing to me at checkers again? Don't take it so hard. I'll give you another shot at the checker king after work. Thank you for your concern, Poncho, my old friend. But it was much more than merely a bad dream. Was it a wretched dream? Uh, not quite. Insufferable? No. Objectionable? Hideous? Malodorous? Uh, Poncho, I believe I just had the impossible dream. Just by definition, wouldn't that be impossible? Or maybe you just had a difficult dream, or perhaps an impossibly strenuous dream, or even... Look, it was my dream and it was impossible, all right? The lunch crowd will be here soon. Dream or no dream, it's time to get to work. Two cows still mooing and a hail Caesar. Hold the bird. Order up, Noah's boy on bread, side of frog sticks. Drag him through the garden with a stop on the Alps. Everyone, terrible news! A new restaurant is opening up in town. Oh, Poncho, did you hear? That means competition. We might as well close our doors right now. <laughs> hey, don't worry. Many a restaurant has come and gone, but we're still standing. This is not just any restaurant. It is... The Food Factory! Did you say the Food Factory? Oui, they are the most popular franchise in the world. No other restaurant within 50 miles of them can stay open. Do you, by chance, know exactly where they're opening their new restaurant? Oui. Poncho, don't you worry. Uh, the construction alone could stretch out for years. But there's no conceivable way they could open for business anytime soon. I wonder how long it'll take for them to attract the crowd. You don't think... Perish the thought. Our customers are true blue. They'll never desert us. Wait a minute. This is it. This was in my dream. My impossible dream was warning me about the food factory. It's all coming true. Did your dream possibly tell you how to get our customers back? <sighs> what am I going to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to king me! That'll do. How can we possibly fight this? Look, we'll restructure. We'll find an area they're not covering and do that. Uh, your move. I win! But they do everything. They have food as big as your head. Yikes! What's in this stuff? I don't know what to do, my friend. I'm afraid everything we've worked for is over. I can't believe my ears. We've made it through thick and thin together. This is no different. That's where you're wrong, Poncho. I'm afraid it's never been this thin. Hey, Don. Rematch tomorrow night? <laughs> What am I going to do?
help to take down the Checker King, man. I'm glad you're up, because I've been thinking and I got a couple of great ideas that are guaranteed to turn this place around. No, I believe I have the solution. My first dream told me what was to come. Last night's dream has revealed how we will combat the food factory. Uh, oh, okay. Um, but like I said, I got some ideas too. Yes, yes, fine. In my dream, every time I looked in a mirror, I saw a different reflection, which can only mean that to succeed, I need to be different than I am now. Maybe it just means you need to clean the mirrors in your dreams. We need to change the look and image of the restaurant. Make it different. Something more entertaining. Poncho, I've dreamed the impossible theme, and we're going to make it happen. With two for one coupons. <sighs> Run, don't walk. Get it? W O K. Walk to Danny. Ha ha. I don't think this is going to work. Patience, my friend. Patience. La Cuckoo Manja. Our prices are so low. You think we're crazy? We're crazy, all right. Just wait, it'll work. Java Java, why pay a little for coffee when you can pay a lot? Oh, this is my best idea yet. <gasps> Where is everyone? <laughs> hey, Pancho, forget about that old cafe. Come right over here. Look, look at how much food they serve. Don, hey, look, the checkerboard's all set up. How about a game to relax and take your mind off checkers? The stuff. Checkers? Don't you get it? We're going to lose it all. Everything we've worked for, and all you can think about is checkers? <sighs> I don't know, Poncho. Uh, maybe you should start looking for another job. Oh, and welcome to the cafe formerly known as La Mancha, where the food and service are par excellence. But between you and me, I'd avoid the salsa. It could kill a horse. Actually, I didn't come here to eat. I came here to hire you. I'm the manager of the food factory across the street. Perhaps you've heard of us? The food factory? It's a pretty big building uh, right over there, uh, across the street. Right here? On, on this street? We got more business than we can handle, and everyone tells me what a great waiter you are. So I'm here to offer you a job. Thank you, but I've got to say no. Uh, we're usually packed in here. Right about now? Look, Poncho, uh, think about yourself for a minute. Nothing personal but this Don fellow in this restaurant of failures. You've got to face facts and cut your losses. Like I said, think about yourself. Let me be straight with you. Don and I have worked together for years, but more importantly, we're friends. A friend is always loyal, Mr. Food Factory Man, and I'm gonna stick by and help my friend in his time of need. Well... Allow me to show you the door. Look, the door. I appreciate loyalty, but... It's the wooden thing with the knob. If you ever change your mind, just let me know. If you're going to grow, then grow. What did you say? If you're going to go, then go. I can't understand the word you're saying. Go ahead and go. Everyone else has deserted me. Why shouldn't you? Listen, I'm not leaving Cafe La Mancha. We're going to make it. You'll need to get some rest. Maybe we can play tomorrow night. Hmm. Perhaps I'll get the answer to all our problems tonight. 
Good night, Don Quixote. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Oof. I just had a dream that was different from all the others. I now know what to do to rescue our cafe. Is it a better idea than a touchdown turkey? I simply need to attack the food factory and vanquish my foe once and for all. You're kidding, right? This is my quest, to follow that star. What star? I thought we were talking about the food factory. No matter how hopeless, no matter how far. It's across the street. To fight for the right without question or... Sure, that sounds wonderful. But unless I'm mistaken, attacking restaurants is against the law. Aren't you paying attention? This is my quest. Okay, listen to me very carefully. I'm telling you as a friend, you can't do this. Oh, but I must, and you're going to help me. You're going to make a fool of yourself. You first. Go! <laughs> Attention, ladies and gentlemen. I have an... Louder! They can't hear you. <sighs> Attention, ladies and gentlemen. I have an announcement. The venerable Don Quixote will this night defend the honor Restaurant, Cafe La Mancha. Pancho, leave him and join us. Thank you, my friend. That's quite enough. <laughs> I am Don Quixote, and I am calling out the food factory to meet me in a battle of honor. The winner shall keep his restaurant. The loser shall leave town forever. Are you afraid to cross swords with me? I give you this last warning. Meet me now and let us do battle, or I shall be forced to attack. That's crazy. Crazy, am I? Look, if you attack my restaurant, I'll have you arrested. Ha! <laughs> You're wrong, my friend. I fight for honor, and any authority you call will no doubt agree with me on that point. Hey, Don. Sheriff Bob here. Uh, don't do anything crazy or you'll get arrested. I'm afraid it's too late to back down now. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Don't do it. I must. <laughs> Take off your armor and go to bed. I demand legal counsel. How about some friendly counsel? I brought you a few things for your sleepover. 
Hold on a minute. What you got in the bag? Jesse's regular bedtime supplies. Uh, did you bring my nighty-night hat? Check. You're a good friend, Poncho. Uh, corn chips? Got them. Salsa? Extra spicy? Yep. That'll give you nightmares. Wait a minute. I'm doing this for your own good, Don. I need to stick by you and do what's best for you in your time of need. What are you talking about? I need my salsa! No, Don. What you need is to lay off the salsa. No. You've turned against me, too. Say it isn't so, Poncho, not you! No! What? What are you all doing? Any bad dreams last night? Well, come to think of it, no. Any dreams at all? Uh, no, I slept quite well, thank you. Your cells are surprisingly comfortable. I knew it! It's the extra hot salsa! Every night you've been eating it before you went to bed! That's why you've been having bad dreams! Now, I'm sure that's part of it, but you don't expect me to believe... Yeah. That do it all right. Uh, you want to press charges? We bent the giant spatula in the back. Uh, no harm, no foul. If you agree to stop eating that stuff, you're free to go. Go? Go where? Cafe La Mancha is through. I've got nowhere to go. Don't be so sure. I need six orders of toast, extra crispy. Is that toast French or domestic? French! Open for breakfast. How did you ever come up with that idea? Simple. The food factory doesn't open up until lunchtime. I told you, find something they don't do and then do that. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you for standing by me when I needed you the most. Hey, that's what friends do, my friend. Now let's get to work. We have hungry people to feed. It would be my pleasure. Say, how about a friendly game of checkers after lunch? The Checker King accepts the challenge and awaits his coronation. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. There once was a boy who lived in a house And the house sat under a tree By the tree ran a fence That stretched far and wide Around the gated community Can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree and my ball bounced up, and my ball dropped in to the gated community. Oh, the gated community is where we like to be. Everything's so lovely, your oh, hearts are filled with glee. And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see what a lovely bunch we are in our gated unity. Um, can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree And my ball bounced up And my ball dropped in To the gated community Oh, the gated community is where we like to be Our clothes are never dirty and our lawns are always green And when you come to visit you can stand outside and see What a tiny bunch we are in our gated unity The gated community we think you will agree Is pleasantly devoid of unsightly strain and free Free, free of day free. Smiles are wide smiles and comfy custody. And when you come to visit, on, you stand outside. What a smiley bunch we are in a gated unity. Can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I like to be. I like to be a perfect pie. And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see. To the gated community. What a lovely bunch we are. To the gated community. What a happy bunch we are. Songs with Larry. Oh, look! A ball! 
Tune in next time to hear Letty say... Thank you. Everybody? I wonder what he's been doing, huh? Whoa. Uh, and Dr. Watson here. What's the good word, Sherlock? Beats me, but when I find it, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there are several good words. For example, there's superb, charitable, philanthropic, and the ever-dependable too good to be forgotten. Which technically, I suppose, isn't a good word, but rather a group of words. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come, come, my good man. Our table awaits. You two gents solve another case? That we have, my dear lady. One usual. Coming right up. Here you go. Enjoy. Boy, if the service here gets any slower, we'll have to find another place. The, the game's, game's afoot. afoot. So, what are you two celebrating this time? I can only assume it involves mystery, mayhem, and maleficence. You could say that. You could if I understood what you were saying. So, do tell. What dastardly crime have you just solved? Well, it's all rather hush-hush. But no one in London will ever have to worry about the howling dogs of Baker Street again. Yeah! Hooray! How'd you solve it? Did you use your superlative powers of observation, or did basic forensics crack this particular case open? You sure talk funny. Actually, it was a combination of the two. After a careful examination of the crime scene, we... Decided the best way to explain it is in a song! Oh no, not again. If all of you are wondering what I found in all my wandering, Here's a clue for you. I knew just what to do. And, uh, me too. If a crime has been committed, which makes you rather curious, while culprits and solutions lurk elusive and impervious, and fancy words bewilder you and make you feel ridiculous, the crime will not be solved until you grab the phone and call on me. Just call 1-800-SHERLUCK. Operators are standing by. We're so thorough in our searching as we sift and sort and sleuth for clues. Faculty for skirting any felons off deceptive ruse. What? Uh, we never leave the job except to snack and maybe take a snooze. Offenders best surrender, cause eventually they're sure to lose. It's all probability, really. You see, given that logic and deduction are on our side, a criminal stands a highly diminished chance of succeeding in his misdeed. Criminals, what are they thinking? <laughs> So if a criminal commits a crime who's hiding in his secret lair He thinks the crime is perfect, but of certain facts he's unaware He's left a print and not just smudge a lock of hair upon the stair We'll find the clue and track him down and trap him in a secret lair It seems they're always in their secret lair The lesson here for all to see is really rather obvious When Sherlock Holmes is on a case It's sure to be melodious! <laughs> In the course of litigation, our opposers please are tenuous. Following your fancy talk is getting rather strenuous. The crime will not be solved until you grab the phone, wait for the tone, and call on me. <laughs> well, another perfect ending to another perfect day. Huh. Something bothering you, my good man? I thought we solved these cases together, but you're the only one who gets any credit for them. Now that's just silly. We're a team. We're friends. You and everyone else knows that. But do you know that? Is that the way you treat a friend? What do you mean? Oh, we're friends, right? Of course we're friends. Well then, is that how you treat a friend? Is how how I treat a friend? Well, I'll tell you. Mr. Sherlock Holmes! Dr. Watson! I think heavens have found you! There's been a rumor at Buckingham Palace and we're in desperate need of your services. What? There's been a rumor at Buckingham Palace and we're in desperate need of your services. I can't understand a word you're saying. Seriously, what? There's been a robbery at Buckingham Palace. <gasps> a robbery? Then come, come, Dr. Watson. The, the game's, game's afoot. afoot. Oh, thank you.
Thank goodness you've arrived. We are in desperate need of your services. Now, him I understand. This crime is a case of national security. If it's not solved quickly, I fear dire consequences. Don't worry, my good man. We'll have it solved in a jiffy. What was stolen? A key. I'm sorry, I thought you said a key. I did. You lost your keys? Seriously, that's it? Go to a hardware store and get a copy made. Get a keychain like the rest of us. You don't need the world's greatest living detective. You need a locksmith. Sherlock, if I may. Uh, sir, what did the key unlock? The door to the room where the golden ruler is kept. <gasps> Quickly, Sherlock. There's not a moment to waste. All right, would somebody please tell me what's going on? This is where the key was only just this morning. Hmm, yes, I see. <clears throat> Uh, excuse me, uh, a little help here? What's up? Well, you. Uh, could you describe what you see? Okie dokie. It's your basic pillow without a key in it. Not much to write home about. As near as I can figure, whoever stole this has a great dislike for soft pillows. Because if you're gonna steal a key, who wouldn't take this pillow? I mean, it's gorgeous. Now, I'm putting my money on a headless bandit with a morbid fear of pillows. Why headless? If you don't have a head, you wouldn't need a pillow. Come now, let's be logical. Uh, Prime Minister, exactly where is the door that this key unlocks? And that's where you keep the golden ruler? Yes. It all comes together now. The room that holds the golden ruler. The old golden ruler. So, what's the golden ruler? Only the most valuable treasure in the entire kingdom. Right, got that. But what is it? Wait, nobody move. Our criminal has left their footprints in the dust on the floor. We must all be extremely careful not to disturb these clues. All right, nobody move. You heard him, nobody move. I'm Detective Bill Trout from the Forensic Investigators of Southampton. And I'm Sergeant John Spud from the Canterbury Highway Patrol. Oh, great. Fish and chips, not again. Don't you guys ever take a break? We've been sent to secure the area. Prepare to be secured. Please, wait. You're disturbing the crime scene. This is our jurisdiction. Your services are no longer required. Ta-ta. Gentlemen, please. Mr. Sherlock Holmes is the world's greatest living detective. Move along. Nothing to see here. If I could just have a few more minutes. I said move along. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Look what you found. A secret passageway. Oh, good job, Sherlock. This? Oh, uh, all in a day's work. The footprints enter and exit right here. This was how the key was stolen. Move along. Nothing to see here. I shall announce this to the king and queen immediately. Oh, let me. Whoa! Whoa! Move along. Nothing to see here. Top of the evening, one and all. And his partner in crime, Dr. Watson? So, lads, what's shaking? When we're on the case, the boots of every criminal in London. <laughs> <laughs> My good lady, the usual, if you please. So, Sherlock, what nefarious no good nick did you and Dr. Watson incarcerate this fine evening? Come again? Uh, he means, uh, did we arrest anyone tonight? Oh, well, as always, it's all rather hush hush. But yours truly stumbled upon a clue that blew this case wide open. We should have our criminal before the week is out. <laughs> now, I can't reveal exactly where I was tonight, but let's just say it rhymes with Luckingham, Dallas. There I was, faced with perhaps the most difficult mystery in my career. If I failed here, the most valuable treasure of the entire kingdom would be lost. <gasps> Fortunately for the king and queen, I was on the top of my game. Yay! 
Where are you going? You haven't touched her cake. Well, you didn't need my help solving the case, so why would you need my help eating the cake? You were the one who solved the case, right? Well, yeah. Wa Watson? Watson? Watson, come on, don't be mad. Just come back inside and tell me what's bothering you. What's bothering me? What's bothering me? What's bothering me? Yes, yes, yes. Is this a game? Are we saying everything in threes? You really don't have a clue, do you? Look, I know we're a team. You know we're a team. Everybody knows we're a team. So what's the problem? So I leave out some minor details. Like the fact that I've worked with you on every single case? Exactly, little stuff like that. So, you ready for some cake? Because I'm starving. You are amazing. Why, thank you. You're not so bad yourself. See, when I put my mind to it, I can compliment you. Do you know what really hurts? When you stub your toe? <gasps> or when you accidentally run into a wall? Or, or when you're walking along and an anvil falls on your head? Now that hurts like the dickens. What really hurts is when someone says they're your friend, but they don't treat you like one. I see. Autograph books! I'm never too busy to help out a fan. <laughs> Good night! Anyway, what were you saying? Did you sign both of our names? Uh, they only asked for mine. You just don't get it. When you want to start treating me like a friend, come talk to me. What don't I get? But we're a team! Where are you going? Come back, Dr. Watson! Dr. Watson! Hello? Mr. Holmes, are you here? Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Holmes, but the golden roller has been stolen. What? I said, sorry to interrupt, but the golden roller has been stolen. What language are you speaking? Say, I speak Scottish. He says someone's golden hula is swollen. No, he said the goat and jeweler are out strolling. See, I thought I was hearing something about Samoans. Perhaps coats and stools all go bowling. Folding scooters have been rolling. The Golden ruler has been stolen! Oh. oh! Stolen? Then come, come, Dr. Watson. Uh, oh. Can you wait here a minute? I'll be right with you. Hello? Dr. Watson, hello? Excuse me, but is Dr. Watson home? The good doctor's been gone all day. Suffering from a broken heart, he is. And I don't expect him back any time soon. Oh, Mr. Holmes, isn't it? Shame on you for not being a better friend to the good doctor. How many maids does he have? Well, if it isn't the high and mighty Sherlock Holmes! If you just follow the golden rule, none of this would have happened! Now that just hurts like the dickens. Excuse me, but I must find Dr. Watson. Oh, you must, must you? Well, if you're such a great detective, Go find him yourself! Oh well, the game's afoot. Nothing to see here! Move along! Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes, how good of you to come! I'm afraid this latest turn of events is all rather scandalous. What if word of this theft somehow leaks out to the press? Ow! Too late. The golden ruler has been stolen. Tell me everything you know. 
Oh, my. Uh, everything? Well, let's start with history. Uh, the Moors invaded Spain in 711 AD, and after uh, that... About they... the case, I mean. Oh, eh, quite right. Uh, the stolen key from the key room unlocked the door to the treasure room, and the golden ruler is gone. That's about it. Move along. Never to see him! Uh, not to put undue pressure on you, uh, but would it be too much trouble to ask you to save the day? I'm on the job. So, uh, where do we begin? Don't have a clue. Usually about this time, Dr. Watson would ask something like, when did this crime take place? Well, it, it must have happened at the changing of the guard. But that's what I can't understand. After the loss of the key, we've doubled our guard duty. Right. Changing of the guard. And since every entrance and exit is blocked, and there's no other way in or out of that room, it can only mean that this is a lot harder than it looks. Unless... Wait a minute. Excellent deduction, Sherlock. All is not lost. Detective Trout of Fish and Chips has deduced that the thief and our national treasure are still hiding within the walls of our palace. Well done, Mr. Trout. You have provided a great service to your kingdom. Hey, hold on. That's what I just said to the Prime Minister. You stole my idea, Fish. That was my idea. How would you like it if I did that to you? <gasps> Wait a minute. That's it. I get it. I get it now. Thank you, Detective Trout. You stole my idea and took credit for it. I don't like to be treated like that, and I can't thank you enough. Uh, OK. Don't you see? This is what Dr. Watson's been talking about all along. In the past, I took credit for everything. I wasn't trying to be mean, but I was inconsiderate, like you. Fine. Uh, now move along. This is fantastic. I finally understand. Your Highness, we need to treat others like we want to be treated. That's exactly what the Golden Ruler says, which is why it's the most valuable treasure in all the kingdom. That means we need to treat our friends like we want to be treated, too. Oh, yes. It certainly does apply to friends. Yeah. I can't solve this case on my own. I need my teammate, the greatest detective in all the land. I need Dr. Watson. And so you shall have him. Dr. Watson, I get it. I know, I saw. Uh, Your Majesty, if it please the court, I would like to reveal the criminal who had the audacity to steal the golden ruler. Now hold on a minute. I've got jurisdiction here, so move along. Right after you solve the case. As my good friend Sherlock has rightly deduced, the thief in question is still in our midst because this was an inside job. <gasps> The thief is none other than one of the palace guards. Are you quite sure? Each of our palace guards is loyal to the core. Oh, yes, but one guard happens to be an imposter, a foreign spy sent here to steal England's most precious possession. I won't have it. If you're a thief, step forward. Your Majesty, if I may, are any of you guards foreign spies? No. no. And are all of you loyal to the crown? We. Oui. I'm sorry, Dr. Watson, but I've questioned them thoroughly, and I'm afraid you're mistaken. Prime Minister, people may sometimes lie, but facts never do. First, there were the footprints we found in the key room. They're the exact size of a pea. Then there was the secret passageway. On the wall, I found black fibers. Not only do these fibers match the guards' hats perfectly, but they start and stop at the exact height of an English guard. That's how I knew a guard had stolen the key, but I still didn't know why. That is, until this morning. That's when I secretly investigated the crime scene and found the answer to my riddle. So you were here all the time. I should have known it. I found crumbs. Crumbs that turned out to be from brie cheese and baguette bread. The breakfast staple not of England, but of a foreign land. That's when I knew a spy was in our midst. But you saw me question our guards. All of them are loyal to the crown. Are they? Are they? Are they? I love threes. 
If my best friend, Dr. Watson, says that one of them is a spy, you had best better believe it, buddy. <laughs> Whoa! A spy! And I would have gotten away with it too, but for my irrepressible love of free cheese and maggot bread! Our <laughs> national treasure has been recovered! All because of you, Mr. Holmes! Oh no, begging the king's pardon, but the real hero here is Dr. Watson. No, Sherlock. We did it as a team. As friends. That's right. As friends. Treat others the way you want to be treated. That just about says it all, doesn't it? Forgive me? You bet, buddy. If a crime has been committed, which makes you rather curious, while culprits and solutions lurk, elusive and impervious, and fancy words bewilder you and make you feel ridiculous, the crime will not be solved until you grab the phone and call on us. <laughs> a team that's not defeated. When I treat you like I want to be treated We're so thorough in our searching as we sift and sort and sleuth for clues With faculty for skirting any felons off deceptive fruit We cover any treasure, be it gold or silver, cash or jewels No criminal are with defy They may as well not even try As long as these two friends live by the go 